Okay, so welcome to our second video for Comp3218 Game Design and Development at the University of Southampton. Uh, my name is Dave Millard, I'm a lecturer on the course, and I'm here with... Adrian Chapman, another lecturer. And Tom Blount, another lecturer. So in this video we're going to have a look at another three games that students have submitted for our uh, first assignment and kind of mark them against the, the criteria that we've got. Um, Tom, do you want to say a little bit about what we asked people to do? So for this coursework, we asked our students uh, who are working in pairs to produce a small game prototype containing an interesting core dynamic, so uh, an interesting feature of the game, uh, and then uh, produce a tutorial, uh, either as a single level or an integrated set of levels, to introduce that dynamic to the player and show them how to play the game. Brilliant. Okay. So our first game is Leaky Lorry, I think. That's right. So I played this in the expo. And uh, yeah, it's pretty fun. So, here we go. Here we go, we're going to start with the tutorial so. level. Welcome to the Leaky Lord. <laughs> Use the arrow keys to control the only arrows, okay? And navigate to the next petrol station. Okay. So, there you are. Oh, you've got the fuel level on the bottom. Where is the fuel level? I see it. Okay, oh, I got a metro petrol station. Uh, fuel level at the bottom of the screen. Collect fuel canisters for top up. If you run out of fuel, you'll be towed back to the last petrol station. Okay. That's nice. So you can sort of go, go up to get the fuel can, I guess. Yep. Yeah. All right. So I saw a little bit of this in the expo, and yeah. the mechanics behind this are kind of interesting. Sort of the yeah. way you have to control this lorry. So this is the key thing, right? You're getting good. To keep up your speed, press the key in advance of reaching the turning. So you can do this at any point before you reach the turn. And there's little arrows sort of on the, to teach on the ground me. here to show you when when is the best time to press it, I suppose. I didn't do so well there. So also you're doing, so I'll, I'll just tell you this because it really caught me out in the expo. Yeah. You're doing what I did and you're holding the arrow key down. Uh, I don't need to. And no, you, you don't need to do it. And in fact, if you hold uh, it down, it doesn't work. Oh. Um, so if you want to do things in advance, yeah. if you want to speed up, you, you can't. You can't keep pressing it. Ah, uh, wait. There's something in that barrier. Sorry. Never mind. We'll just go this way. Oh. So if you tap down now and then leave it, you'll turn that corner really quickly. Do you see that little? I see. Right. So for me, when I played this game, I kind of, I, I really enjoyed it. I thought it was a, it was a good game. Um, but that that thing with the controls really threw me off. It's um, definitely an interesting mechanic. It's not one you'd expect, but that doesn't no, make it. But it definitely puts it more in you know the sort of puzzle type, yes. puzzle sort of reaction based. Well, it gives you it gives you uh, an element of skill, right? That kind of, and also it gives you a place <laughs> for difficulty. There's no skill. <laughs> so it's, it's particularly it's, this first bit where you've got that little staircase of things. It almost feels like a rhythm game, a sort of like you know, yeah. sort of guitar it hero is, type. Yeah. yeah. You're right, it has that kind of... Alright, somebody else gets to do this, I have no rhythm. <laughs> so I think I managed to do this one, uh, no. but only after I figured out my error with the... There you are, so now you can get some real speed up look. There we go. Yeah, there you go, level one complete. So, so, my, so minor nitpick, if my, if you're controlling yeah. the entire game with the keyboard, don't make me switch oh, yeah. the mouse. Yeah. yeah. And then this is kind of like the... First example of like a proper proper level, lots of choices. Uh, sorry, I hit a checkpoint. So, so I'm, we... I'm noticing on the on here we're getting some glitches on the graphics. Yeah, I, we didn't get that in the expo. Okay, so that, it might just be that a resolution. Right? Might be a resolution, or it might be the, the fact we're recording this as well. Um, so okay, let's let's think about this because Tom's happily playing away. Yeah, so let's um, jump right into the... <laughs> so in terms of bugs. Um, uh, I, I mean, there's that glitch there, but I think we just set that aside. Yeah. I, mean, I, I, I think this is it's pretty playable. much a playable, playable bug-free game. It's yep. got a nice little menu going into it. Um, so I think that all, all kind of works. Um, in terms of complexity, um, again, it, it's a simple set of things, but you've got the, the moving before the turn mechanic. You've mm -hmm. got the uh, picking up fuel cans. Um, yeah, I think it's a, a good. It has the, there's. It's not a huge. It's not a hugely complex game, but it's. Um, but there are no bugs that are that are defeating. Yeah. Them. So so, it, I think kind of I would say that um, there are no bugs, which puts it in the excellent category. Mm -hmm. But 
the complexity of the game maybe yeah is an issue yeah so I would say maybe make maybe borderline I'm, I'm good with that between so between good and yeah. excellent is great um, okay so in terms of presentation then uh, how do you think this information design look and feel all that kind of stuff well uh, so so there are consistent graphics that's nice and there's yeah, the music. graphics are really cute it's, it's adorable and, and, and the I, I, I recognize the asset pack there from as well. <laughs> <laughs> the um, so yeah the music's nice it fits sort of I guess the sort of I don't know, it's just really sort of jovial and nice. Yeah. The information design, the fuel, which is like the really, really important bit, is like quite sizable in terms of like yeah. in relation to the rest of the screen. Yeah. So it's interesting that we've complained at a few other games we've played that, that we want to have the information on the actual piece itself. And here they haven't done that, but because it's big and like, centered, yeah. it's still okay. Like it's yeah. large enough that it's okay. Yeah. It could I mean you could easily have put it like under the truck as well, but I think yeah. no. having it this yeah. way, because it's actually larger, it makes yeah. it yeah. Have you noticed as well that now we're out of those kind of tutorial levels that the arrows on the road have disappeared? Yes. yes. Although so, the arrows in the I guess the arrows in the top left are still that's useful just showing to show what you, you press last, yeah. I think. No, I'm not really using that at all. Just no, because no, I think kind of And the same the fuel used in the bottom right. I'm sort of totally ignoring that. I guess that's my score. Yeah, it's I, I think it is because, yeah. because, the, because the, the 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 faster you go around, the the, the less fuel you use, right? The fuel is time based, yeah. yep. not time and distance based. But yeah. Um, okay, so in terms of presentation, then I yeah. I mean I think, it's, I think it's really nice actually. Absolutely. Um, so key information so, is shown clearly, consistent feeling graphics, good use of audio effects and music. So I don't know whether this um, would come under information design, but looking at the start of the level here, yeah. Where where should I go? Yeah, that's true. So you're not quite sure where the destination is. So I, I don't know where the destination is or which route I want to take. Yeah. And I guess part of this is, you know, sort of making well, the player panic through play. I guess we'll I guess we'll come back to that when we look at the level design and where yeah. there's a meaningful choices. Um, so I mean, my my feeling here is that for for presentation, um, I I still think I, I I'd still tick it across. I think to the excellent. Level. I think they've so done, too. They've done a really nice job. They yeah. have. Um, gameplay. So a good set, a uh, wide set, complex mechanics, intuitive and smooth controls, enjoyable and meaningful play. <coughs> um, that would be excellent. And then good is a, a set of complementary mechanics, smooth usable controls, and meaningful play. So what do we think? Well, it's definitely the, playable. It's definitely it playable. Absolutely, is. I actually like that the user has some agency in the game. They can choose to completely disregard certain canisters. Yep. They can go different routes and try them. Um, the controls, once you know the... So I, say, I wouldn't call them intuitive, no. just because it's no. an interesting sort of... I guess because it's novel, right? There's not many games that control this way, and that's yeah. partly what makes it an interesting puzzle. Yeah. yeah. I wonder if there could have been a better way of tutorializing it rather than... Because it only shows up sort of... It's like the third pop-up in the tutorial, and it feels like it should be Yes. maybe yeah. a bit more highlighted than well, it was. Well, I think also the level design, and we'll get to that in a minute, yeah. but the level design doesn't help because almost the first thing you get across is that very tight staircase mm -hmm. and actually it's almost impossible to do this on that staircase. Because like, yeah. you really want to highlight that yeah. the player can keep this flow going and they can keep their speed up. So there's, a, there's a level you had, I forget which one it was, but it was almost more like a racetrack with very long straights in yeah. and that feels to me like it ought to have been Perfect, that's that one, yeah. yeah. So, but anyway, but, but in, terms of the, in terms of the gameplay, um, so I think probably the controls are not intuitive and they, uh, they've not quite done enough to, to to tell you about them, uh, but it's certainly good. I mean, I think it was you know, a set of complementary mechanics, smooth, usable control, and meaningful play. Yeah. So I, I'm going to suggest we put it down for good for good play. Um, all right, level designs. We we already touched on this. Some of these levels um, feel very unforgiving. Yes. <laughs> Like they certainly don't ease you into it. Like, yes. No. So, for example, that first turn you have to make here, sort of at the bottom. This is sort of reasonable to do, but the yeah. very sort of sharp corners like that are very, yeah. very difficult. Agree. And we should note that Tom is the one playing this right now. Um, yeah. <laughs> so he's kind of a hardcore player example. Isn't pretty he? much, pretty the one who can do the rhythm games and and, and um, yeah. So it's um, the so, bumble fingers is not. So I, like, I think it's worth separating out the tutorial, tutorial, tutorializing of the levels from the level design itself. Agreed. But you're right, and, and Tom pointed out you didn't quite know which way to go. So also some of these are quite, like I say, quite unforgiving. So once yeah. I made that tiny mistake like just there, I'm, I'm yeah. done. I can't finish the level. So it almost feels 
Yes. Like I'm being forced to carry on until I absolutely fail, rather than until I can sort of. There's no way to really salvage things at that point. Yeah. Although, although in fairness, the fuel canisters are fairly close together. No. Uh, the, in this level, in they're this placed level, just far. They're, they're placed just, just yeah. far enough. Yeah. First mistake, you die. Yeah. yeah. But what I mean is, is that. So some levels are what what I mean is is, is that you as you progress through a level. So this is probably very typical because there's only this is a particular type of level where you've basically got to get to the fuel canister and then make yeah it. exactly. But most of them there'll be two or three fuel canisters, um, and also it sends you back to the last petrol station. It doesn't necessarily send you back to the end of the level. That's true. There it are. It just happens that on this level that is the beginning of the level. So there are definitely some um, some levels that have that sort of quick so iteration. I, I think it's well. a bit unfortunate that we're talking about level design on, on this, this level. level. It's because I'm stuck on this level. <laughs> though, that's why. Because I think some of the other level designs are, are better. But I, I do I'll think well, that, I'm I, gonna, I'm gonna jump back to the beginning so we can but have I, it proper. I do think that the progression oh, could be a bit clearer. Yeah. Um Let's start on level one. So, you know, here for example, like I said, you've got this this little sequence of dog legs at the beginning, and it's like, well that's that's one of the hardest things to do. Right? Yeah. So so the easy stuff to do is the big loops, and maybe they should have gone with that. So um I still think it's sensible. Um I think probably the question is about pacing. Yeah. So is this good pacing or is this an attempt at pacing? And I would probably be tempted to say it's a, it's a bit more like an attempt at yeah. pacing than good pacing, actually. Have we covered the, the sort of the planning and the route finding through the level? Because again, this is another level where at the start it's not obvious. Yeah. Because you can't see the entire level here. Yeah. So which direction should I go? Should I go up yeah. or should I go to the right? Yeah. I mean, I suppose the the the, the, the counter argument for that would be you, re, you restart the level frequently enough, so you can have a bash, and then you kind of learn something and you go again. But you're right. Um, so for it. me, the level working. design, although some of the levels are actually quite nice, mm. the progression between the levels um, isn't so good. Um, and it is worth sometimes, particularly again, if you're making a prototype for your portfolio, people are going to look at this for maybe you know two, three minutes if yeah, you're lucky. Yeah. So I'm not saying all games should be easy, but, but having them a, being having them being a little bit forgiving have, and then have, have, a, have a good set of levels which introduce you to some of the yeah. key ideas before you get into things. So I mean, I still think this is this is I think it's, a satisfactory good. It's yeah, I think it's definitely on that boundary. Um, should we, should, so if we put it in between the two, agreed. Um, so okay, um, so that's the the level design element. Tutorial design. How well do they use the the, the tutorial? Could you actually go back to the tutorial? Yeah, let's go back design? to the tutorial itself. So if we play menu, because yeah. I think there's definitely an attempt to do it, um, but they use these kind of big blocks. slightly cumbersome. So did you highlight which jumps. which button I should press here? There's also yeah, I can bring nice. that back. I did not realize that was a thing I could do. Uh, okay, so there's a question mark. That's quite cute. And then does it highlight green? So it highlights yeah. green like seconds Just before, before I need to press it there. Before you. But so the tutorial, that's I guess. So I, I I quite like the way that that first bit is so easy that the fuel level isn't an issue, and then they tell you about the fuel level and you need to get a canister. Uh huh. So that works well. So interesting, it highlights both buttons at once. Yeah. There. So I, I will press both at once, and oh, that didn't work. So I think that they're trying to do it, mm. but it's just a bit clunky. Um, you've got the things coming up, they're overlays, you've got to switch to the mouse to, to get rid of them. Um, no, no, I, uh, can, I can press enter to get rid of them as well. So Okay. And at this point now, they've changed where the arrows are, so the arrows are now telling you in advance to pre-push the key. Yeah, I can't so they, they introduced that, which is good. But then they, they could have used the arrows all the way along, right? Yep. So, so that bottom arrow, all the way down here, you could press down. So having it right at the end. And again, you've got this little dog leg thing here, and then you've got this little complex. Uh, I'm actually going to fail on the first level. Yeah. So, so I think that um, again, this is kind of somewhere around satisfactory or good, maybe. Yeah. So satisfactory would be a partly integrated tutorial that communicates some of the goals, risks, and rewards for level design, and introduces most information and mechanics in a logical way. Um, and it kind of feels there. I, I think yeah. so too. Yeah. Yep. Um, so, core dynamic, what do they say their core dynamic is? Uh, the core dynamic, the core dynamic for this one is race to the end. So, ah, okay. Um, facilitated yep. by spatial reasoning as a secondary dynamic. So that's interesting. I so, guess, I, I'd argue it's also got a little bit of a collection one in there, I guess. Or, yeah. I don't know, it feels like a actually survival one, because you've got that resource that you're trying to... So is it a race to the end? 
Because it is. Because if you're not, because you're you're scored based on how fast you get to the end, essentially. Oh, uh, that, that's true. That's true. Yeah. So okay, so and, 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 it, and it does have the spatial reasoning element in there, um, but the spatial reasoning element is in service to that because you're choosing the fastest path, you're choosing the path where you can get the fuel canisters. I see, that's so a that very course. unforgiving. Even in this that, level, even is, this level is incredibly yeah. unforgiving. Yeah. So if, even if you just make a small mistake, you yeah. are sort of doomed. Which means the fact that they've put fuel fuel gate yeah. and fuel um, pickups along here. It does sort of it's redundant. Yeah. 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 If they if they've made them checkpoints or something, I don't know. It's. I think I think possibly there was not enough playtesting. We come back to my hobby horse. I have a feeling they got very good at this game, yeah. and they did not test with another enough other people. It's it's the progression. It's they don't need you through it. But, um, so okay, let's think about the core dynamic. Um, so so I mean, uh, the mechanics definitely are in service to they like, are. getting through the level quickly. It's all about sort of preempting sort of the, the directions yeah. that you have to go which builds up yeah. your speed and you want to maintain yeah. that speed and, so you can get to the end and the as jaunty as music is also kind of keeps yeah. things mm-hmm. moving along with the little putter I, 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 I think this I mean maybe at the lower end but it, it's probably good I think it's yeah, probably in that good category um, so uh, and lastly feedback so what did they say about what feedback they got uh, so originally they were planning on generate like procedurally generating these levels and these mazes <laughs> okay. um, with the player navigating at constant speed and having to collect the fuel to keep going uh, which would have been a survival dynamic. So I think some of the, yeah. So we basically said yeah. in the first lab, don't try and do procedural generation for this. You've got enough on your plate as is. Yep, that's so good they, advice. So as a result of that, they ended up changing the dynamic, which I think fits this a lot better than yep. survival because you're not trying to stay alive as long as possible. Yeah, you're trying to get to the end and finish the level. And so it's interesting. I think if you pick up fuel things, it increases your fuel level. But the fuel used is always based on sort of the amount of time you spend yes. going, so that's still feeding into that. Uh, they tried designing levels with a start and finish and fuel pickups along the way, um, but suggested that that would make it hard to create meaningful levels with the mechanics that they had at the time, uh, as well as adding a, they considered adding a collection mechanic where you have to yeah. pick up parcels en route and then deliver them to the end, but that would have sort of... That, that muddies it again, yeah. Yeah, it muddies it a lot more. Yeah. Okay, so they, they clearly thought about it. Um, and they've, they've made some, they, they, it sounds like what they've done is they've managed to clarify what they're doing quite quite well. Um, so I mean for me, I would say that the, that, that sounds like a good, right? Feedback was articulated, reasonable change being made, and some success. Yeah. Right? I, I think it's kind of in, in that kind of category. Um, I'm wondering whether my whole thing about the race to the end thing is because they've used fuel twice. They've got your fuel level and fuel used. Yeah. And if fuel used was just time. I think it maybe would be a bit more yeah. apparent, um, and, and make it clearer that for some reason doing it quicker was better, right? Um, and obviously you need to do it at a speed to, to succeed, but yeah. But still, it's a, it's a fun little game, I think, and, and another example of where um, the game engine is working pretty well, and the problems are, are probably in the level design and the playtesting. Yeah, right? I think but, so. Yeah, but but nice, nice game. All right, let's move on. Okay. Okay. So our next game is Forest Runner. Aha. Okay. All right. Find the star. Before A the, and D. Before the timer hits zero, timer's in the top right-hand corner. Oh, good. Okay. Okay. I'm <laughs> going. Nice animation. W. W. Excellent. Interesting decision. It's a little jumpy, to but make that's it okay. So Hello. Yes. Yes. That kind of creates an interesting feel, doesn't it? Well, I'm like flying. <laughs> Uh, ramps give you a jump ramp boost. Give you a boost. Okay, so I'll go all the way over up. here, and then we go. And I'm gonna jump. That's that's, that's, that's very floaty. Kind of counterintuitive to yeah. some extent. Like but, running up a hill, I feel like would make you slower. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I I guess the the. But I guess that's why that's why it's important to explain it in the tutorial, right? It's yeah. It'd be nice if there was. <laughs> it would be nice if there was some visual. Clue that you were speeding up as you went yes, up. Yes, well yes. Let's let's for the sake of argument. Oh wow, the it's control very, through. Yes. So you carry on moving a little bit after. You, yeah. Oh, oh we ran out, out of time. So we should say we we've, we've swapped. So Tom has taken the controls. So there you go. You do, you do slow down when you're on the ramp. That's the thing. Yeah, that's kind of a bit peculiar, isn't it? That's just. 
That's why I said that's why it's to, quite difficult to get. They, they ought to give you some um, clue that you're building up some momentum. But you're not. You're losing it. Cause, like if I let go while I'm on the ramp, you automatically fall down. Yeah. You did sort of speed up as you went up then. Yeah. That's just if I stand on top of the ramp. So I think I think the problem is just ca it's just counterintuitive. Right? It's also the controls make it very difficult to. Yeah. So I can't make oh. that jump if I just jump there. Okay. So if I if I run all the way up like this, it feels like you need more of a run up as well to make yeah. it. Okay. So I've got to run here and then jump. Yeah. There we go. So, okay. A bit peculiar, but it kind of works. Okay. So, stand on the start to complete the level. Ooh, and with a nick of time as well. I had four yeah. seconds left there. I, I like the simplicity of it, though. Nice, mm. simple level. Introduced a single mechanic. Uh, double tap W to get to higher places. Okay. Okay. Presumably uh, that'll come in handy later. Ah, here we go. Ah, okay. oh, there we go. It came in handy. That's a... I just skip I, that I also kind of find it odd that you're and obviously walking in grass, so you're kind of half submerged in the... Was that a thing in the... I don't know if that was a thing in the previous level or if it's just like a slight visual bug. I think it's a slight visual bug. In the last one, the legs were in front of that later level was it? of grass. Ah, yeah, yeah, you're kind of below it then. Yeah, now we're below it. I feel like... This okay, so that's what's happening here. I'm gonna got stuck in a pit. Okay, so I've got to go. Ah, oh, okay, got there. Jump right. up there. Okay, okay. Which, mm, I mean, the fact that it's these are both green and this is brown, yeah, almost leads you to think, okay, maybe this is where I'm supposed to be going. Perhaps I don't know if that's intentional or not. I think but, you need to use the ramp. I, again, it's just, yeah, a, so but, it, but also right. it's just a, a function of the the very zoomed in yeah. picture because you you don't see much of the level around you. Yeah. And therefore, it's very difficult to figure out where to go next, right? Um, no. so, I mean, it's good you can't get up there. They clearly thought that through. Oh no, you can. I did the first yeah, side. The first side oh, with a double jump. Yeah. Okay. Now I can't jump at all. Maybe. Oh, I take it back. They clearly haven't thought that through. <laughs> but okay. So, run down. So here. you've got run, 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 jump, 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 yeah, jump, jump. Uh, I'm pretty oh, sure. No. I had double to... jump then. Oh, maybe I don't know. I think I had to make that jump before I could actually see the platform I was supposed to be landing on as well, because yes. of the ramp mechanic. That's... Jump, and jump. And there we go, double jump. Oh now I goodness. can't see anything at all, and I'm off the side. Yeah, oh, okay, made it. And there we go, and there's the star. Cool. Okay, let's let's start going through this. So, so bugs. Yeah, what do we think about bugs? Oh, hang on, whoa. Hang on a minute, we oh, zoomed sorry. out, right? No, no. Not no space. Space to boost over the gap. But you're also zoomed out. Your figure's smaller. His figure is smaller. So that boost it feels very odd. You just teleport a little bit oh, in the direction of space. Space to boost over the gap. Yeah. And that there's no. Easier. So you what happens if you boost without a gap? What happens if you? You just jump a little. You seem to teleport a couple of feet in front of you. Okay, that's quite peculiar. There are definitely some visual bugs in this, where you go in front of or behind the well, grass. Well, I don't know, you yes. can that's a kind of a, that's a choice. I mean, it's a bit strange, because you can't see your feet. But it, it changes, right? Piece by piece. Sometimes you're in front, sometimes you're in back. But, you'd, but you see, you'd imagine, you'd imagine you'd make that a feature. So it'd be like, uh, on levels where you... <laughs> there oh yeah, there you go. So on levels where it was really important to be very precise, if you put people in grass so you can only see his eyes, yeah. right? Yep. Then, then it kind of becomes more difficult to position and play. Right? I think it's just a case of the way the animation works. It changes yeah. the saddle. So Agreed. while I'm standing here... So, like, minor visual bug. It's not yep. really... It's not a big one. So, okay. So, so in terms of bugs... Um, uh, there are only minor Not bugs. Anywhere. These are uncommon. It's oh, playable. Okay. Seems fine. Yep. I, w I would say it's good. I kind of I, I don't see any absolutely it's any good. problems. And the, there's the only the only thing might be I guess over complexity, but you know there's a fair amount going on. There's ramps. There's... Yeah. I wouldn't say it's overly complex, but, um, it's, but it's okay. Yeah. Um, so I think I think good. I think good. Um, all right. Presentation. So, uh, information, uh, audio visuals. I don't know where I'm meant to go. Uh, I haven't heard any audios on this. Okay, so have, we, have you got the... Do you have the... Is it sound then? The, uh, the, the sounds... Yeah, yeah, it looks like that just isn't... Yeah, yeah isn't. okay. So, no, no audio, which is a shame. It is, but the, the visuals again, are cute. And again, Standard. It, uh, with audio, a little goes a very long way. Yeah. Right? Like, all you need is a kind of a, you know, a boing noise. A splosh noise, you know, <laughs> it, it, it just really helps. So yeah, that's a shame. 
Um, the audio is the, the sorry, the visuals are cute though, to go and it works well, and it's very consistent. Ooh, oh, that's your teleport thing. So I have to teleport through a block. So it never mentions that you can sort of boost through things either. So that's why. You but now you're also in this weird place where you've got some. I mean, yeah, but yeah. So I've I've boosted inside the. Oh, can I just so, keep pressing space? So what happens if you turn the other way and boost? Oh, you, you just boost into the ground. Go the other way to the earth. Oh, I see. Okay. So oh, you does. always boost that way. You boost whichever way you're facing. So it but, won't boost that way. Okay. Oh, wait. So we had a little bit of a glitch there where you kind of boosted and then ended up halfway through a platform or something. But also there's no limit on the boosts I can press. So look, if I just jump and then boost, 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 I go all the way out the side yeah. of the map. Yeah. So it feels like an odd mechanic to introduce this one, especially when you've already got the double jumps and that kind of thing. Yes. Cute. Like if you had maybe like a limited, like even if you can just, you know, boost. Oop, there we go, outside the level again. Yeah. Okay, so I think I think we'll we'll we'll, we'll wrap that up with the minor minor bugs and inconsistencies. <laughs> um, presentation though, so no audio, graphics look nice. Mm -hmm. Information design? Yeah, so the information what, design... Where, where is the information design? There's the yeah, timer, I So there's the timer for the top. Ah, I missed that. And then there's yeah. some writing to tell you, as to, to teach you what to do. Um, it's kind of embedded as part of the graphic. Mm. Um, as text. So it's it's not... It's not really telling you... I'm stuck again. It's not telling you how to defeat lot. this or how to get through this now, right? It's not giving you yeah. hints as you play, like, we're stuck on this level at the moment because we're not sure whether the kind of jump, boost, jump, or <laughs> double jump. So as you're going through this, you're discovering a few a few minor things. I'm wondering whether our bugs mark... It, it should go down a little bit. Maybe, maybe we should I drop think it down we might to have been somewhat more serious. Yeah, just drop it down and not put a halfway between good and... Because satisfactory. satisfactory is there are some frequent serious bugs or frequent minor bugs. Yeah, I yeah. And It still feels like a minor uh, bug. But, it does, but, but it's but getting... They're them. cropping up. All, so we'll, 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 we'll put that between the two. Yeah. Presentation, though. Um, so uh, the key information is shown. The graphics are consistent. Um, there is no audio. Um, I, I'd be tempted maybe to go for satisfactory. It's at the bottom end of satisfactory, yes. I made it. Good job. Yay. All right, well, this is a good time to talk about gameplay then, because you, you are you are playing it. It's kind of... <sighs> oh, my goodness. Um, <laughs> that's a shame. Anyway. Uh, what do you think? What's it like to control? Whoa, okay. I didn't I've like control sort of glitched my way through. Okay. Um, interesting. Ooh. So I, I, I found out I can skip this entire bit of the level. Excellent. Um, <laughs> oh, you are. So I don't think that's supposed to happen. Uh, yes. Yeah. Or like it. You said it was a bit strange the controls. Yeah, it? they the momentum's a little bit weird. You sort of carry on running after you yeah. stop. It's like it's okay. I feel like the oh okay trees prevent boosting. Watch out for the mace. He's lethal. Okay. What's so, the time so the zero items? that's in the screen there? I don't know. Hmm. Time zero floating around. So Press E to collect the saw to chop down the blocking trees. Okay, that's interesting. Oh wow! So you've got to press so, E to use your saw. So you've got a saw. So if you press E, I thought it was collect the saw so I can cut down this tree. Yeah, you your to collected collect saw. saw. So you've got to collect the saw. So yeah, I've got to go collect the saw first. Where is the saw? Presumably this way. Trees prevent boosting, so I can't boost here. But if I do this, I can boost. Oh, there's a treasure chest up top. Do you see that? Whee. Did you just jump on the mace guy? Oh, yeah, right, boosted, boosted over, over him because I just jumped ah, and then went straight yeah. over the tree. See, you're one of those awful players that tries every way to break the game, right? That's sort of what otherwise known as players. Yeah. <laughs> so it feels like so the boost mechanic is interesting. I don't know why they've included it because it seems no, to it, break it, a lot of their game. Yeah, it, it seems to be it's really problematic, isn't it? Um, okay, so in terms of um, where. Well, so this kind of does affect this, right? It does. So we said it's complementary mechanics, usable controls, and meaningful play. And I don't think so, we're there. So the controls are usable; it's, they're not smooth. Yeah, right? it's playable. So that's the satisfactory level. Um, there are a set of mechanics. Do they lead to meaningful play? And that's the problem, I think. You, you, I think I'm, they, they're actually disrupting one another. Yeah, I think that's the problem. So I think maybe your you're at the level, you're at sort of a state of limited meaningful play, which is actually the past level. Yeah. Yeah. So so maybe you're halfway between satisfactory and the past. You kind of you know you've got the, the, the mechanics of controls are uh, 
are kind of at the satisfactory level, but the, the, the so yeah, the meaningful go, play is going back to the information design. I now have a times one in the center of the screen, and I think just in the top left up here, there's a saw. I've got a saw blade. Yeah, yeah, okay. that's a little bit. All right, level design. What do you think? Uh, well, oh. he just used a saw, but he can't get past the one tree. Yeah, because I was t I was here, and the saw blade spawned. Here, yep. this way. So, I'm, I'm tempted oh, to move that. The, that you, oh no, you've used this all And he's now so used I, it, so he's got to go back and get it. Ah, I one. see. So interestingly, I... It says trees prevent boosting. So I had assumed when I saw that, that you had to cut down the trees to enable you to boot, have boost past the... the, the no, there's a the separate box. tree that's basically a door. But the, the, I didn't notice the door. Okay. So, alright. So level design, I think... So they I think are they, introducing different mechanics gradually, they which are, is kind of nice. Um, and but in terms of the level design itself and the levels, does it demonstrate the mechanics? Is it pacing? Has it got good pacing? Are there kind of goals and risks and rewards as you go through? And it just feels a little bit confused. It feels yeah, smuddled. Um, I'm not sure what's the best thing. They're just throwing stuff at you. So I would say actually this is this is kind of well. So a pass level, for example, is a level design that demonstrates some of the mechanics. But poorly balanced or paced, and with a lack of clarity over the goals and risks and rewards. Yeah. Um, and it feels that they have maybe done a bit better than that, but but it's kind of between that and satisfactory. I I don't know actually. I'm kind of down in the past level. I mean, watching some of this play is um, it's difficult because the the mechanics kind of cause problems. That yeah. that boost mechanic is a problem, right? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but. Yeah. Well. There we go. Oh, okay, there you go. So and now we can, can get to the end. Tutorial complete. So that was the tutorial. Yeah. Welcome to Forest Runner. Okay, okay I think that's that good. That so, good. so okay, so you're thinking for the level design more like a pass? I think we're at a pass at this point. Yeah. Well, I think this first level is alright. It's simple, but it gives you, you know, it leads you into the different things. It shows you yeah. here's a jump, here's some more jumps. Yeah. But yeah, overall, that's... it's. Well, let, let's give a benefit of doubt and okay. go but somewhere sure. halfway between pass and satisfactory because it's it, it's in that space, isn't it? So, yep. right, tutorial design. So it introduces the mechanics sequentially. It introduces yep. them in a sensible order. Does it introduce them in a way that you have to use them? So, so yep, I have to. Yeah, you got that. that. This was was this double jump level? Yep. Yes. Okay, so you do have to double jump. Good. Could you boost right now? What happens? That's an excellent question. Yeah, I can. So okay. it doesn't lock you off from those mechanics. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Which is fine. I mean, and I've boosted right out of the level. Ooh, we're in fun zone again. So, okay. Um, this this feels to me that it's at least satisfactory, right? So yeah, I think so. Partly integrated communicates some things through level design and introduces the mechanics in a logical Agreed. way. Agreed. It's satisfactory. As, I, as, in terms it, of just tutorial, yeah. I think it actually does better than some of the other ones we've seen in that it, yeah. it introduces each mechanic one at a time, it makes you use it before you can progress. Yeah. Yeah. So that's more like the good level. So you know, mechanics in a logical way that fits what's gone before. Um, is it mostly integrated? It is, it is most integrated. Okay. They've got things like the, um, the the instructions to you appear as part of the level, so they naturally appear when you, when you need them. They, they go out for off the screen once you've learned them. You, they won't go off screen until you've done the thing mm -hmm. that it says to do. See, in yeah. terms of just tutorial, I think it's actually all right. It's, I think the rest of the gameplay sort of lets it down a little bit, but the tutorial yeah. itself is okay. Right. So, um, I, I said, I think it's at least satisfactory. The question is, is it good? I, 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 I think it's good. It, I think it is, yeah. Yeah. So, what about the core dynamic? What do they say? Uh, so, in this case, the core dynamic is race to the end. The nature of the game is to reach the end point within a given time displayed by a timer, which promotes yep. the race dynamic. That's true. Yep. So, I would agree with that. I was curious as to what they would say. Whether yeah, they're sort of, So, a lot of platforms tend to lean sort of naturally towards spatial reasoning. Mm. Yeah, and this yeah. one, but you are definitely incentivized to get there within that time limit. So the only thing I'd say is that that's true, but the the the, the way that the game is designed doesn't feel like it's a race to the end. It's, so partly it's 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 simple things like a lack of kind of 
a music with energy, mm -hmm. right? It, or, or momentum within the game. It doesn't feel like you're building up momentum. Also, right? some certain things, like for example, this particular level, yeah, feels very much like a. I don't know if it's spatial reasoning. I know, it's because you keep going wrong quite so often because yeah. of the controls, <laughs> right? Thanks for highlighting that. Um, but, but compare this but, to something yeah. like Sonic, right? So, like a classic Sonic. Um, race to the end. Race to the end level, where you're building up momentum, you're building up speed. It there is a feel like the game, you're, yeah. where you're going. Here, it's very stop start. Yeah. There's, there's, also, of, there's also a lot of backtracking, like the whole collector yeah. thing removes this barrier yeah. to allow you to go to the end. So, so I think they're sending out real mixed messages. Um, so I, I don't think it's a, it's a killer. I think that the the mechanics otherwise fit. There's, it's not cluttered. Yeah. Um, uh, you know, they haven't got lots of collection, you're not trying to destroy stuff, it's pure. Um, but I think it's a, a kind of... It, it still doesn't... It's not It's not sort of... It's not supported by the audiovisual choices. Um, so again, it, it feels to me or, like it's more like yeah. satisfactory than good. Yeah. Or, or, and all of the mechanical choices as well. Yeah. So, so, so okay. So I feel that's a, sort of a, more of a satisfactory. Um, and feedback, what do they say? So their original concept was a territorial acquisition platforming game rather than a race to the end. Wow, and they received okay. feedback that implementing opposition to the player's acquisition could prove difficult, which they found to be true. Yeah. Um, so they changed the core dynamics of this and then um, <clears throat> they, made they made sure that the other feedback that they had was to ensure that the mechanics they added were tied to that dynamic. Yeah. Um, so they started by adding in mechanics one by one. Um, and yeah. gradually adding more complexity. So one mechanic they had intended to put was a grapple rope swing, <laughs> okay. um, but it didn't nice, seem yeah. uh, it didn't. It was a challenge in practice, and yeah. basically they they decided to scrap that. Um, and then they also went, they said that one of the advice they were given was to ensure that all the assets fit within the same theme to give a good aesthetic, and we yep. they found this asset pack or not. So. I, I think that, that this is a satisfactory thing. They've, they've articulated the feedback, they've made some changes, uh, they've been partially successful in solving some of the problems that they would have had. Yeah. Um, One thing I do want to call out, this is a, an excellent job, they, they gave me a ref for the asset pack, and that was that's great citation of referencing. Well yeah, done. There you go. All right. Um, we should probably move on. We've got yeah. another game to look at. Okay, so our final game for this video is called Bingo Bongo. Which, if this is the game I'm thinking of, this is an odd choice of name for this game. That is a it's really odd choice of name. I had no idea it was this one. So this is a two-player game. A two-player so, okay. game. So okay. Tom and Age. So, so you go. Oh, nice, I, get, I think nice I get sound. happy. Whoa. All right, okay. I get to jump. So it's not... Do you want to just lower not, the sound It's not telling you to collect those, but there's nothing else you can do. And so. it makes pretty noises when you do. Oh, that's nice. I, I, I do like the the whole yin yang thing. Yes, yeah, uh, aesthetic. Sort of you ready? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, so wait, wait, W I missed that. jumps. Oh, I like the oh, fact, I got to W. I like the fact the little symbol is um is reversed. So I played this in the expo, and I find it really odd that for for black at the bottom mm -hmm. jump is still, still up. It's still yeah. up. <laughs> I kind of got used to it, but it was a kind of curious choice. Ah. Uh! I'm right. sorry, Tom, I'm letting the okay. side down. So one of the interesting choices they made for this is, so these platforms you can jump on, Yeah. this one at the end here, you cannot jump on. Oh, yeah. can, can you tell the difference between them? Well, you've got the, you've got the border. Just, yeah, there's a very slight grey border around. So I wonder why, why does it exist as a thing you can't jump through? So why is it there? It might become a little bit clearer. No, we'll never get past this level. Okay. <laughs> So later on, they add some puzzles where, <laughs> where you have to um, sort of almost swap sides. So the black yeah, yeah. player has to. Oh, 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 oh there's oh. a slight bug. So that oh, occasionally happens as well. Yeah, that, I, I think, think there were one or two, um, one or two bugs with this one. Right, let's give this another go. Okay, so let's cut them up. Shall I have a go? I yes. Say, I, I feel like I've got the easier route. For, for some. Yeah. Dave, go ahead for it. Let's go on. You've got, yeah, you've got. Oh yeah. So they are introducing the fact that only certain. Um, oh. Ah. You can only it's stand really on fiddly, certain actually. platforms in an interesting way because you have to get to that last platform. Yeah. And then you fall through it, which might come as a surprise. Oop. 
There we go. There we go. So it's quite hard that one bit. Yes. Yeah, um, okay, so. So here, slightly more complex thing, and this time, again, we've got these things that we go through. Okay. Press R to restart. Uh, so. So I pick those up. And that one. So again, sort of highlighting sort of a mechanic that comes up in that. Yeah. You know, we start obscuring the players. To yeah. These things. That kind of works. It's a bit odd that they've chosen to include a level where you can get stuck and have to restart. Yeah. So this is quite. I have to say that the whole kind of they play with information a lot in this. There we go. Um, and that's quite nice. Ooh. Excellent. So I think we're going to start uh, while while we keep playing bugs. There have been some minor bugs, but not. Uh, yeah. Oh, hang on. This is worth saying. Or oh, press go. control. So, so ah, no, have just, I got a control? Just, just me. You don't yet. Ah. So you're there. So I'm there. There I am. There we go. Oh. Is it sticky? Can you? Is there something funny going on with the walls? Uh, I think partly it's just you bumping into me. All right, oh, and down there. There we go. So, and again, so some of them are black and some of them are white, and and it's ah. So, so we have to. You have, I have to jump on you, presumably. To, um, you have to jump on me. All right, that's cute. I like that. So a little bit of collaboration. So this will, uh, when we start talking about the core dynamic, I'll come back to this. But um, yeah, in terms of bugs, there are a couple. Ah, there. so I get shift. Tells you a little bit. So there are. Oh, some are we are we infrequent serious and or frequent minor? Are basically at the satisfactory level oh, in terms of bugs? Hang on, there's one of yours there. Let's so some of them are pretty serious. I mean, they do sort of they, break, they, the, break they, the game and you have to quit out and restart. Yeah. But but you know they're they're kind of but infrequent enough. What oh, was another one there for you? And how complex is this? It's pretty complex. So, so what, one of the more serious oops. bugs is. There is a period of the game where we get to switch between these two levels, which switches gravity. Right. And if you get sort of trapped in the zone that switches you between them, it will, um, you'll sort of get caught between two ones. Ah, you, right. might, you might have to kind of stand on me. Oh, you think so? Ah, put down where your, are you? Put down, there you go. Ah. There we go. All right, but then you have to come up here. I think I think you can get up there. Yeah, you must be able to. Or unless... You come back. No. Oh, yeah, unless you come back. Unless I come, yeah, but then you presumably have to. Don't have to find out. Oh, ah, yeah. Perhaps I should have gone up there and. There. Ah, oh, there you are. You can do it. I might oh. get up for this one. So there's a. There we okay. go. Yay! So yeah, they are, there are quite a few bugs, but it's also quite a complex game. Got it some, is. There's a lot of bugs to go. Satisfactory on. level. What do we think on that one? Well, um. Frequent serious bugs and frequent minor bugs. I I think I think yeah. that's definitely true. The only thing is. There is there's a lot of complexity. Right. So, so does that kind of bring it up maybe closer to the good? Even so may I'd maybe put it in the borderline. In the maybe. borderline. So maybe we put it in the in the borderline between the two because I kind of okay. feel that there's they're, they're, they're doing a lot. Yeah. Um, agreed. So okay. presentation information and aesthetics. How are we feeling that they have sound, which I love. The beeps actually help. Simple things. Beeps help. Um, Ah, what about graphics? I like these are simple graphics, but I think they're effective. It's really effective, yeah. and I think very thematic for yeah, the, dude, to what they're doing. Agreed. Can you come stand here? Just um, oh, ah, so ah, this, ah, this was the other one I was talking about. Yeah, Occasionally, if you, if you don't go fully through that little sort of trans like, yeah. portal, it switches the gravity and you're stuck on the side. So, so now, can gotta, you do an R? Uh, oh, we can do an R. Yes, there good. Because yeah. ah, uh, so, they, they taught us that great tutorial. Uh, <laughs> so I think I need you here to, to, to in order to get my. Okay. So this Ooh. is actually one of the few that oh, I. Yeah. Um, oh, okay. I see. There's some every now and then the white goes in the white square goes into a white area and before ah, that, um, that for you as well. black spot comes on. Yeah. Cool. Oh, it uh, it's hard to see. But so I deliberate. I think. I, yeah, I think I think the the puzzle solving. I oh, 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 I don't know. Damn. So yeah, I, th I think that the puzzle solving element of this is is really quite nice. Here we go. As you can tell from the fact we've gone quiet trying to solve it. Yeah. That's okay. Um, yeah, but we're now on. Uh, let's talk a little bit more about the presentation. What about all the information? Are we happy with the way they're telling us what to do? You know, I I, I am. Like it. You've got the you've got the yin yang bits at the top left and top bottom. Which, um, yeah, show but, you it, so because they hide a lot of these pieces. Yeah. Showing. <laughs> okay, there we go. Showing that there are still some left to get. Okay, there's one there. So how am I supposed? To... Oh, okay, and you have to go and get the other white one. But he won't. So I can't back. get up there, though, can I? No. So if you get up there, you get that one, and then come back, and then I'll go up. 
And then go down, yep. Oh, no, don't get stuck on the thing. I'm trying. You come under me a bit. There, there we go. go. Uh, I can't get up there. You're caught on the... Oh, uh, now yeah. I'm up there. Um, yeah, okay. So, I mean, I, I kind of... Um, so it, it doesn't help that, that where that thing is, where you've got to do a difficult jump just before it, mm -hmm. that, yeah. that actually is making the, the situation they've got quite a lot worse. So, where are we in terms of information presentation? Are we at good, which is key information is shown clearly, graphics are consistent, appropriate use of audio, effects, and or music? Or are we at excellent, which is key information is shown clearly, consistent and appealing graphics, good use of audio? I, I, say I, it's I, I think we're up in the excellent category, to be honest. I think so. I think so. Okay. I, I think the problem... I mean, this game is, is a really good... Oh. <laughs> this this game is a, a really good game with one or two really annoying and unfortunate bugs yes yeah. that if they could if they could if they could um, sort out would, would make a big difference agreed um, because so, the design of it's lovely in I mean, presentation are we actually up in prize worthy, worthy which is novel yet clear ways of showing the key information consistent and thematically resonant graphics excellent use of audio and visual I think the graphics are, they're very resonant right it, I, I mean I, I would say that that it's it's clearly excellent okay. in terms of presentation it might even be towards. Should yeah. we put it between excellent and prize worthy in let's, terms of information presentation? Right. So I'm going to suggest for for this bit. Yeah. Um, that. Oh, you managed to. There we go. There we go. You could. Uh, and then so I kind of. There we go. Yeah. There we go. I think the problem I get is I keep getting stuck on the walls because the, yeah, the walls you, appear to have some kind of friction. So Unity and platforming has a little thing where you tend to get stuck on the collider on the side of the yeah. wall as well. Okay. Oh wow. This is All right, massive. so gameplay, mechanics and controls. Um, a wide set is excellent. A wide set of complementary mechanics and intuitive and smooth usable controls that lead to enjoyable and meaningful play. Prize worthy is a wide set of complex and complementary mechanics with novel yet intuitive and smooth controls that lead to substantiated, sub sorry, sustained, enjoyable and meaningful play. So, um, I. I actually think we might be up between that excellent and prize worthy category again for mechanics and controls. Yes. I mean, I kind of... So, unfortunately, I need you over here now to I, try I, and get I've got Because lost. Okay. we're not even Let's marking this game at this point. Um, we are yeah, playing we're, we're the game, playing which it. is pretty right, much I, proof. I'm, I'm going I'm to come to you. <laughs> All right. Right. I think I'm, I'm, I think I'm on a platform up here somewhere. Ah, so if I come... I got that one. Yeah. I mean, I, I think... It, yeah, the, the, there's clearly gameplay. This right? is excellent gameplay, in fact. I, I'm finding the controls a little bit sticky, but I don't think that's really that's me more than anything else. I think. Yeah. Ooh. I I would be happy putting this game in price worthy for gameplay. Yeah. I, I think you two can't even carry on a conversation right it, now because it, it's so no. <laughs> but partly because it's that jump mechanics really difficult. Yeah. Um, where's your light? Where am I? <laughs> <laughs> All right, I, oh, let, let's focus on so, this one. So, so yeah, in terms of gameplay, um, yeah, I, again, I kind of, I, I think that they, they've not quite, they, they've aimed really high. They have right? done. And, yeah. and I think the design is better than the, mm -hmm. than so the execution to a certain extent. Yeah. So but, one of the things is when we were talking to them in the labs, they they were going to have loads more mechanics than this and we were like, no, yeah, scale, no, scale no, it back and no. keep a few of them and I think they've kept like they've made a really good choice with yeah. the amount they've kept because yeah. uh, there's definitely a lot yeah. of different sort of puzzles they've been able to So you've just got this. you've got the different collection stuff you've got the reversal stuff going you've got the jumping you've got the fact you can stand on one another you've got all those kind yeah. of elements um, I think it, the, I think the gravity changes is very novel actually and I yeah, think that's what that's... starts really pushing up into prize worthy. Yeah. So I mean, yeah. there are definitely yeah. games that have similar mechanics to that, but yeah, it's a good implementation. Of I'm, I'm happy. I mean, I, I think it's. Um, I'm happy to go with prize worthy mark. I kind of. I. I it, it, for me, it's 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 maybe it's, it's certainly excellent. It's definitely Absolutely. excellent. Absolutely. Right? Yeah. Um, and then if we're talking about the level design, um, so again, we kind of uh, the the level design. Um, it clearly demonstrates the mechanics. That's yep. very well done. Um, I think there is a certain amount of pacing. We kind of paused on this one because it just got to the point where our brains are beginning to get overloaded. Yeah. Yeah. But, but it, it it works really well in terms of the, the pacing. It maybe goes up too quickly. right? It may yes. be that, yeah. that a, a more gradual introduction to some of these things would have been better. Um, and again, it's not clear to me that there's a, a kind of a balance of risk and rewards here because you, you, there, there's, there's no timer to finish the level. There's yeah, no way of finishing the, the level steps. without... 
So you, you, you know, there's no there's no balance. So, uh, but it but it still you know it still works. Um, so I would say that the level design is probably good. It's kind of you know sensible design demonstrates a good number of mechanics and some good pacing um, uh, with kind of clear goals. But the risks and rewards is a bit bit less well yeah, articulated yeah, yeah. and you know. So so for me it kind of sits there. Um, what about the tutorial design? What do you think? So the way they um, tutorialize the controls is good. You have yeah. that sort of like little, little pop-up pop and it disappears you. once you've done it again. Yeah. yeah. And they gradually, I mean, I know we, we had some problems with how fast things got hard, yeah. but but they were very careful in the beginning that you were only doing very simple things through each yeah. of those initial tests of, the, of, new, of new mechanics. So for tutorial design then, so... Um, I actually think it was a, a, an integrated tutorial this time. So that, that would be up to the excellent, right? Yeah. Um, does it, is it introduce them in a logical way and does it build on what's gone before? Um, kind of does. So, so again, I think that the, the only thing I would say is that it, it probably adds complexity too quickly. Mm. So, but, but you point, as you pointed out, it shows you the blocks where you can disappear, where you can't stand on them, days appear earlier. But you've had, they have that nice section which is which is a, a grill and you move behind the grill. So, so I think that's that, probably so. a better introduction to that than the sort of falling through a platform. Because yeah. being able to fall through a platform never comes up again. Or it doesn't yeah. seem to. Yeah. It's yeah. just the fact that when you're falling through In fact they're, they're kind of fooling you into it. It looks yeah. like a platform but it isn't. Mm -hmm. Right. Um, but at the same time you jump on it to collect the thing and you drop through. So they're showing it to you once. Um, so for me the, the tutorial design is is kind of is a little bit clunky, but has all the bits there. So for me, I, I maybe would say it's between good and excellent. Yeah, I'm good with that. Somewhere like that. Um, core dynamic, so what are they saying? Core dynamic is interesting because uh, they said it was a cooperative core dynamic, which is not one of the sort of oh, fundamental yeah. ones that is explored yeah. um, by, I forgot who came up with the principles mm. of it. But we've always said that's not an exhaustive list of them. Yeah. Because they can really justify why they've needed to create another one for it. Then that's totally yeah. reasonable, and I think in this case it is. And I think it is because it's not just that you have to individually solve your half of the levels to progress, but you have to collaborate Absolutely. in order to, to yeah. succeed. So this is what I said to them in the expo yeah. because, because we had to sit there and say, okay, no, 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 you go here, and yeah. then I'll jump on you. Like yeah. there's, there has to be that fundamental. And, and even the fact you know you've got a light, I've got this, I don't know, weird poo stain. Kind of <laughs> ink, ink stain, Dave. Ink, ink, ink stain. stain. Yeah. Yes. It's kind of like, oh no, oh no, I've soiled myself again. It's as, as you're kind of doing that, you know, that that it really works well, and actually yeah. the mechanics do build towards that. It's clearly the fact that we spent the first half of this video just talking about how we should solve these puzzles. <laughs> yeah, than... yeah, and, and how, how that problem with overload. So for me, that that worked really well. Yeah. Um, so okay, so so in terms of the mechanics themselves, how do they make us talk about these things? I think the fact that they have just have. The principal one is the fact that we have to jump on each other to get yeah. to certain so we, we, we physically interact and we helps. get in each other's way yeah. and we can stand with each other. And then and then you said the, the ink stains and the light, <laughs> right? And the, that, that works really well. I, I think it does. I think it's really nicely done. I agreed. Um, so, it's a cl so excellent would be a clear core dynamic that suits the theme of the game and is well supported by an integrated set of mechanics and appropriate audio visual choices. The, the visuals, I think, are brilliant. The audio is minimal. But it's it's, a it's some there. some audio. Yeah. I mean the visual, it's like the whole sort of thematic like yin yang yeah. thing. But just the visual yeah. is a key part of that yeah. dynamic because and, you have to. And for me, that that's right. that. So the prize worthy thing is whether the the you know whether the theme of the game suits this, and whether it's entirely supported by a well integrated, well integrated set of mechanics and resonant audio visual choices. So visual choices in this case. And I, it's it's part way there, I think. So, are we including the, the name as part of the theme of the game? <laughs> Bingo Bongo. Nobody yeah, like the name. No. <laughs> Why is it called Bingo Bongo? That's nuts. But uh, let's let's not worry too much about that. But yeah, um, so I think this is probably verging on prize. I, I think too. it is. I, I I'm I, I kind think, of a little I think bit so hesitant the audio to... brings it completely. Like if that were just a little bit more, it would have been prize. A little bit more then. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. But 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 almost there. Yeah. So I'm halfway between the two. Yes. Yeah. Excellent prize really. Um, and then feedback. So feedback, um, uh, they sort of got, th they acted on three bits of feedback that we gave them. Firstly, to gradually introduce some of these different mechanics rather than sort of having yep. them all front-loaded to the player. Yep. Uh, secondly, forcing the player to discover the, the new mechanics by finding certain pickups. Yep. Uh, and then interestingly, the third one was removing some of these special pickups that they had thought yeah. about including. So one of the things they were thinking of including at the start was pickups that um, 
So, for example, the light. Yeah. You only have a limited amount of it. And oh, you have yeah. to go and collect pickups to keep it lit. Mm. Yeah. But given that the fundamental, you have to collect things just to progress. How yes. do you differentiate between those and the other ones? Yeah. And it sort of just adds too much to the complexity where you can get in situations yeah. where you can't beat the game. So yeah. I think sort of they decide to rescope some of the things, reintroduce how yeah. how they're again. It, it comes down to the thing where once you have like three or four mechanics, you you get this kind of matrix of different ways of combining them, and you get this kind of exponential growth mm-hmm. in the possibility of what you've got. So a little bit goes a very long way, and I and they they've kind of done that here. They they yeah. kind of combine them in interesting ways. Um, so okay, so in terms of they clearly res- they've articulated that well. They've clearly responded with reasonable changes. Um, I, I would say it's it's at least good. It might be excellent. So excellent is kind of appropriate and effective changes have been made. Um, and uh, I think they were very effective actually. So okay, let's let's let's, yeah. let's, uh, let's go with go with excellent. So I think I think that one is a is a is a nice game to end with. It's a shame we had to stop playing because yeah. it's just too hard to talk and play at the same time. Um, but uh, a nice one to end with. Um, and uh, yeah, I think just just killing some of those bugs and they'd they'd have, they'd have something really impressive here. Yeah. So. Great. Okay. Well, that's the last of our three games. So we'll end the video at this point, and we will see you again uh, in a moment for a, for another let's play.